Um, my name is Jeff. I started losing my hair when I was 17 years old. I was a senior in high school. I noticed uh, that my hair was really thin right around uh, my junior prom. And then again, when I had received my pictures from the prom, my hair looked extremely thin. By the time I graduated high school, uh, I probably had lost half the hair on top of my head and I knew it was time to do something. I spent the next couple years kind of hiding in a hat and I used to do electrical work so it was, you know, a lot of the guys would wear a hat on a, on a daily basis. I fit right in by doing that. Once I made it to my 20s and, you know, my friends really started going out and we were going to places that you, you were not allowed to wear a hat, I would resort to staying home and you know, pretty much only going to places that the hat was permitted. I started to look around and, and see if there was anything I could do. I went to a doctor who was a family friend and he was a dermatologist, he did transplants, and he told me that I was not a good candidate for a transplant surgery because I didn't have enough donor hair. So he suggested that I looked into some sort of hair system. At the time, the technology wasn't what it is today, uh, but it still looked really good. I found uh, a place that I had went to, and they had you know, put a system on me, picked a style that worked well with my facial features, and I, I became a client. Uh, I loved the hair. It totally changed my life. I started going out. Uh, I was, you know, talking to girls and, and you know, dating and, and kind of doing my thing. It gave me my mojo back, if you would. When I became 22 years old, I was offered the job at a hair replacement studio. Uh, I started working there. They sent me to school, learned how to uh, design, you know, hair systems and all the different techniques that are used for men and women. Uh, and I began my career in, in hair replacement. So, you know, on a day to day basis, I meet younger people, older people, men and women who have various types of, you know, skin and, and scalp diseases and hair loss issues. So we're able to help them replace their hair. And, you know, I feel a big part of it. And what it did for me was restore my confidence. That's what, you know, what I enjoy about this industry and what the hair replacement can do for me and what it could do for you. A lot of times when I have a, a younger man come into our studio, you know, some of their concerns are, you know, that they're young, they're afraid to go out without a hat on, or they have a big event coming up. And I could really relate to that because when I was, again, once again, I was in my, you know, 20, early 20s when I did this, and that was a big thing for me. I was kind of, you know, a recluse with certain things. So I understand how they feel and I know what the hair could do for them. So I really put a lot of focus on helping those people in that type of situation. Once the hair is completed and we restore the hair for the client, a lot of times they'll come back in after a couple weeks and tell me how already their life has changed, they're going out, they're doing things, they're enjoying things that they used to enjoy when they had a full head of hair. I feel that the hair is very affordable, you know, depending on how people's lifestyles are. What a lot of people do is, you know, they're spending money on clothes to go out, they're putting money towards, you know, this or that. When I had to do this, I was very young, I was very new at my career at the time, and I focused my, you know, my money towards things I needed. And I felt that I really needed to do the hair. Once it was done and I spent the money on doing it, there was really no way to value what it did for me, so it was worth every penny. A lot of times people will come into our studio and they'll ask me, you know, can the hair do this type of hairstyle or that type of hairstyle or, you know, something that's, you know, they saw in a magazine or, you know, what have you. But with this type of hair and the technology that we have today for the men and the women, it's all human hair that we use. It's all, you know, pretty much like a, a freestyle, if you would. One day you could style it back, the next day you could part it, you could spike it one day if you want to. So even the women can style their hair in, you know, any manner that they want to. They could blow dry it, use a curling iron on it, and basically, you know, anything that anybody with their own hair could do, you could do with this type of technology. Now, as far as lifestyle goes, you know, there's a lot of people who ask me, can you water ski? Can you go on roller coasters? Can you do this or that? Can I wear a hard hat every day for some of our construction people? Any of that is completely possible with this. This technology that we use these days is, you know, very much made for the everyday person. We have people that work in an office and we have people that are building skyscrapers at our clients at our facility. So the hair is really versatile to anything. You can go on roller coasters, you can jump out of an airplane. It's something that, you know, is not going to slow your daily life down at all. You don't have to not do something because you have this type of procedure done whatsoever. I recommend doing this, you know, just for the pure fact that it gives you 
any reservation back that you lost as you're losing your hair. It could really change somebody to experience a lot of hair loss. It makes their personality a little bit more quiet. They don't want to be the focal point in a crowd of people. You know, so for me, it changed my life. It gave me, you know, my personality back. It gave me, you know, my confidence back. And of course, it gave me, you know, to me, my looks back.